Hello, my name's Michael Sanderson and I'm a scientist at the Met Office Hadley Centre and I'm going to uh, explain what the uh, four degree poster is showing. Now we used a climate model to uh, project these temperatures. Climate models are mathematical representations of all the different processes that occur in the atmosphere and the oceans. Now our, complete, our understanding of the whole climate system is incomplete, which means some of our representations of all the different processes that go on and the numbers we have to use in the particular mathematical formulae are also uncertain. So what we've done is we've taken our climate model and we've changed some of those numbers slightly away from their standard values and then we've run the same uh, projections into the future so we can see how sensitive our climate model results are to those particular uh, unknown parameters and this has been done 17 times so now we have a good understanding of the uncertainty uh, in our climate projections. I'm now going to explain to you what the map is showing you. When we ran uh, our climate model we used another two different amounts of greenhouse gas warming uh, so in a total we ran 34 climate model simulations that's 17 simulations using each amount of greenhouse gas emissions and then we found that 23 out of those uh, different projections suggested that global temperatures would rise by 4 degrees or more above pre-industrial temperatures. So what we've done is taken all of those projections that suggest temperatures will rise by 4 degrees or more at the time that they reach 4 degrees. So this map is hence showing what the world could be like if temperatures rose by four degrees. It's not a projection in time, it's a projection showing you what the world might be like for this particular temperature rise. If you look at the map, you can see that although global average temperatures have only risen by four degrees centigrade, many regions of the world have risen by considerably higher temperatures. But for example, over the Arctic, temperatures have risen by as much as 16 centigrade. This is because much of the ice and snow cover that exists in the Arctic has melted in these projections and that's why the temperatures have ridden, risen by such a large amount. But there are many other regions of the world where temperatures have risen by more than 4 degrees too. For example, over Africa and South America we can see very large temperature rises there too. You can also see in the tropics temperatures have risen the least and that the warming over land is generally much larger than over the oceans.